All right, so we're going to take a quick look at Blackboard and at the Google um, folders that you're going to be working with um, in this video. And I would like you to do like the reading of the documents and things on your own and either post any questions you have in the virtual office um, in the discussions which you can get to here. If you click on discussions <clears throat> and then you click on virtual office and you can choose questions about the course and you can just reply and ask your questions. Um, and then I will be checking them regularly to answer any common questions or individual ones that need an answer on the discussion board. Um, you'll also have an opportunity <clears throat> to interact with me through Google Meet or Google Chat um, and ask questions kind of in real time as well. So let's go back here. When you log into Blackboard and you select our class, you will come um, to this page, the announcements page, and the most recent announcement will always appear at the top. And unless there's some reason to, I don't delete any of the announcements because sometimes there's information in earlier announcements that you find out you need later in the course. So I just let them all hang out on this page, um, but the newest one will always appear at the top. Let's see. You will want to read your syllabus, so you'll click here to get that. At least this is one of the places. This is in um, a Microsoft Word format, so you would open it here in Word. If you don't have Word and you don't want to get Word, which you can get for free with a GRCC email address, if you're interested, let me know and I'll get you that information. Um, you can also access this syllabus by going to Assignments and clicking on the weekly agenda for week one. Um, but before we click there, let me just show you that if you open up the folder, you will see separate links to the agenda and then any other documents that you might need for that particular week. But I also made it a little easier and have gone ahead and linked right here the agendas. And one thing that's really nice about that is that for your agenda, as you can see it's in a Google document, um, I have put hyperlinks in for some of the different things that you will be using um, that you'll want a quick link to. So there's a link to the syllabus here and this one should take you to the Google Doc version which is just like the Microsoft one. Um, a guide to online discussions, you want to take time reading that and again if you have any questions about it post those in the virtual office um, or wait and talk to me about it on Google Chat or Google Meet. Um, these are the readings, and I say readings, but there's also recordings that you'll be working with this week. Again, those are all links to those documents. Um, and these documents also have links to videos that you'll want to watch or listen to. Over on the right, you can see that I have deadlines. Now, these are somewhat loose deadlines, at least for this week. So my suggestion is that you watch the introduction to the vernacular tradition um, some, by sometime on Tuesday. And that way you can keep up with the suggested reading, read the, do the spirituals reading on Tuesday, the work songs on Wednesday and the folk tales on Thursday. Now, if you say, "Oh, hey, but I have, you know, Wednesday off, so I'm going to do all of this on Wednesday." That's your choice, of course. The things you need to know are that you have to post your self-introduction by Sunday, the 12th. 
you will want to post a little like hi how are you kind of thing for in your collaborative groups um, probably by Friday would be good um, but I'm not gonna police that so much and then your week one discussion the latest you can post and get credit would be Sunday night um, but the earlier you post the better so if you get your readings all done by Thursday you can post on Thursday and have Friday and Saturday and Sunday for interacting with your classmates in conversation. Um, I would like to do the live meet and greet via Google Chat, um, possibly also set up a Google Meet time on Thursday, probably around 7.30 p.m. I will let you know for sure a little bit later in the week or not too much later in the week I'll try to let you know for sure within a day of now um, and then one last thing I would like you to do and I would like you to do this by Wednesday because if there are any problems that anyone's having trouble I would like to be able to go over that with you um, so create a Google folder for your work and share it with me at this email address right here this is my GRCC email address you can copy and paste it um, anyone with a GRCC email address, which would be all of you, even guest students, I believe you're given a GRCC email address for the course, um, you, that is a Gmail, so you have a Google Drive account with that email address, and you use the same address and login that you use to access your student email. Um, you will have other documents that most of them will be Google Docs and they'll be linked directly in here. But sometimes there will be documents that aren't Google. Um, maybe they're videos that I can't link any other way. Maybe they are PDF files that um, I add into these folders here. But that's, you know. I'll let you know what those are and as I add things to the folders I will update the information that's here on the front right now weeks 2 through 10 only have the agendas the agendas just so you know do not have any de date deadlines in them yet I will be um, finalizing most of that in the next week or two for the rest of the term the rest of what you really need to know about Blackboard is in the resources section. Right now there's the guide to online discussions. I'll also be posting there some resources for um, MLA documentation, for your writing assignments, um, and any other, maybe some grammar videos and things if anyone needs to refer to any of those. This is an easy way to access my contact information, including a link to my email address. Um, if you do want to meet with me in person, because, you know, I mean, there's only so much you can do by chat and meet, go ahead and let me know, and we'll try to set, set up an appointment to meet on campus. We've already looked at syllabus and resources we just looked at, discussion board, we kind of quickly looked there and jumped into virtual office, but you'll see that there is a board for each week. I may end up adding more um, as we go through, or a forum, I should say, for each week. Um, we may add more forums as needed, but each week I will have a thought question, a writing prompt that I will ask you to respond to. This is where the majority of our conversation will take place. This is important for you to be participating in it as a conversation. So definitely read the document that's the guide to online discussions so that you can get an idea of what's expected. But also remember that we're not meeting in person, so we're not having regular classroom discussions. That means you need to be participating in the discussion board. That's where your discussions, the big discussions, will take place. You'll find out more about your, um, your collaborative groups later on. 
and what and how those will work but those will be more like your small groups where you will discuss some things but you'll also be sharing some of your projects um, for peer review maybe you'll even collaborate on a project together um, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it to get all cliche on you at almost one o'clock in the morning all right Tools, you'll find all kinds of things in tools. I don't really pay much attention to those. I don't really use them much in class. Um, grades, of course, that's where you will find your grades. The rest of this stuff you don't have because it's for me. All right, so those are the main things that you have and that you will need to be paying attention to. Um, after you've read the syllabus and after you have read the guide to online conversations, um, online discussions, please let me know of any questions you have and I may answer them directly in the discussion board. I also might create more videos like this to help you see as well as hear what I'm trying to say. So with that, I will end this video.